Thanks for stopping by and checking out another video here. Hope everyone is enjoying their Sunday. Yeah, it's pretty gloomy here. I've actually spent the day and got caught up on some shows. I've been doing a lot of yard work outside, so it was kind of nice to have a gloomy, rainy day. Got to spend some time indoors here. Um, but I wanted to do another video here. I'm going to show you guys a different technique today. I'm going to do a bottom bottle pour. All right, so I have four colors here. Again, they are all Apple Barrel. I use this brand mostly. Again, it is very inexpensive, 50 cents a bottle at Walmart. Um, I have four colors. I have Limeade. I have Flamingo Coral. I have Sky Blue. And I have Pink Parfait. All right, so this canvas today, um, this is one that I had used previously, as you can see. And I didn't really like it. I did not like the way that it dried. It did some cracking here. Um, you get cracking when the paint underneath is thicker than on top. Uh, your top dries faster than the one underneath, so it causes some cracking. So I am just gonna do this bottom bottle pour over top. Uh, we'll see how that dries here. All right, so I know in my last video, I had already got the paints mixed up. Uh, this time I wanted to start fresh. That way you guys can see exactly how I do things. Um, I did just get all my supplies out. Um, I got all my sticks and my paints. Um, this is the bottle, bottom of a 20 ounce Dr. Pepper bottle. Dr. Pepper, my favorite drink. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these paints mixed up. I do not do any measuring. I do one part paint. All right, I do two parts flow draw. Flow draw. Again, no measuring, just pouring. If you hear my phone going off, I just posted on my Facebook this equation that has a witch, the witch's broom, and the witch's star wand. And it's a math equation, and it is the biggest brain buster I have came across in a long time. It took me quite a while to get it. And I actually had to get the pen and paper out to figure it out. It was hilarious. Uh, but I finally got it. Now others are struggling on my newsfeed. And uh, I'm, I'm starting to feel sorry for them. So I gave them a hint. So I think I have a lot of them starting to get it now. All right. So again, I have the one part paint, the two parts flow trawl. Um, I do add in a little dash of water here. And then I'm going to add some silicone into this one. Um, I don't always add silicone in to my paints, but I just love that cell effect it gives. Uh, right now I'm just gonna do five drops in each, give or take. All right, so let's mix these up and see how the consistency is here. Not using a whole lot of paint. Um, this is only an eight by 10 canvas. And I do wanna have a lot of a blank background. I just wanna show you guys what this the bottom bottle um, technique does. It makes a super pretty flower effect. So my colors today, I was actually talking with my mother a few moments ago and she helped me pick out these colors. 
she told me to do springy colors, so that definitely fits here. So today I got smart and I'm wearing my gloves. I know that last video I did, I did not wear any gloves. And I think I showed you guys what happens when you do not wear them. So how's everyone's weekend? Hopefully you didn't go too crazy there. Self quarantining. Self quarantining yourself in the house. Like I said, we've been, my fiance and I, we are starting a garden this year. And um, we've been getting out and about and uh, doing some yard work and that's really helped us with um, getting some exercise and stretching our legs. All right, I am just looking here at these paints and I'm just wondering if I have enough for what I want to do. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more uh, to a couple of these. I have a cat that's wanting my attention. I'm sure you guys can hear him. His name is Otis. He is my Himalayan. All right, again, you just want that puddle effect on top of your paint. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more green as well. And then, ooh. So this can be a little time consuming. Um, I think that's why I wanted to have everything mixed up for you guys in that first video. Um, but it is kind of nice for beginners to see um, you know how it's done and again this is just how I do it um, this isn't how every artist does it all right so we got to have a base color that I'm going to flood my canvas with and at this time I am out of white I am running out of a lot of my supplies here um, it's not essential for me to go out and get them so just doing with what I have. Um, so I am just going to use this granite gray um, to flood my canvas with. Now we are going to use a bigger cup for this. And we'll add out of this as well. So I will not be putting any silicone in this gray. Um, I don't want any cells popping up in my back color. All right, we'll get this mixed up. So I wanna know your guys' hobbies as you've been spending all this time at home. You know, we're hearing so much negativity going on. It's, it's nice when we can, you know, strike up conversations with positivity. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and you know, the self quarantining it's unfortunate, you know, that the weather is getting nicer. I know there's, you know, a lot of things that we would rather be doing, but, you know, we just, we got to stay positive and look at all the positiveness that, you know, this is bringing to our families. Um, I believe a lot of families are getting closer due to all of this. They're bonding more and they're doing more activities together. So that's always nice to see. I know I've reached out to some of my family members that I haven't talked to in a while. So that's been nice. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get this canvas flooded. So we're just going to start pouring away. I'm 
This would be a super amazing color for a scarlet and gray piece. All right. So just spread this around. Now I don't always worry about my edges in the beginning. Um, I can always go back, um, you know, at the end and fix those up. You don't want to make your paint too thick on the top there. That way it doesn't interfere with your flowing of what you're doing. I definitely got a lot of paint on here. So I'm just going to kind of scoop some off. Again, I do work a little bit on my sides, but I don't worry about it too much. And then the end, I do go back and finish the ends. Because to me, the size of your painting is just as important as your painting on the canvas itself. Just making sure that this is evened out here. Do you see a little bit there? Again, this is time consuming, guys, and I do apologize. Thank you for your patience and sticking with me. All right. Now. bottom of your bottle bam right in the middle and you just you start you start pouring just alternate your colors and I just dropped a big glob right there you see that it will turn out all right Get this blue and pink going together. Maybe we'll get some purple. I remember the first couple times I did a bottom bottle pour, I could not get the bottle even so I kept having all of this paint get sucked up underneath of my the bottom of the bottle and I just couldn't get it but practice makes perfect on everything that you do and I'm just dropping paint all over my gray but it's okay we got blue next Let me go ahead and use up the rest of this. I love it just watching it flow out. Makes the pretty flower. Definitely some spring colors here. All right, guys, so I'm going to let this kind of sit for a sec and let these colors kind of flow out.
All right, I think I'm gonna actually add on another layer or two. I want this to kind of spread out a little bit more. So we're gonna go with this pink. You can never have too much pink. guys here we go I'm gonna take it off a lot of it's going to fall into the center there so you can see the middle here it's already starting to form some cells if you guys can see that all right so I just I have this little tool here it was in my um, what is this? It is like a, a manicure set. Uh, so I just take the flat in here and we just come in so it mixes up a little bit. Maybe like a petal effect. And then you can go out. And have fun with it, you know? Do whatever you want to do. All right, now, you could tilt this and, and get it the way that you wanted to if you'd like. What I have been doing here lately is I have a damp paper towel. And watch this. So we're just going to take this paper towel and we're going to lay it on top of the painting. Give it some little love taps. This is a, called a reverse dip. All right, here we go. Ta-da! If you guys can see that up there. Got my light shining. There's a lot of cells in there. I'm now I'm gonna play with this a little bit and kind of tilt it back and forth. Get that center there in the middle. Now I will get these edges cleaned up here and uh, get this where I splattered covered up. Well, everyone, I definitely want to thank you for your support. It's a lot of fun doing these videos. Um, like I mentioned in my Facebook post, I'm still working on getting the kinks, you know, figured out uh, the technology side of it anyways. Um, but I really do appreciate everyone's feedback that I've gotten from my painting and uh, all, all the positive comments. You guys really make my day. All right, everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I definitely have a mess here to clean up. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday.